there are a few challenges around the world map that you can do. If the Recession Dragon is already dead and you only have the weekly challenges to do and the world boss, there are some challenges that you can find around the world map. It's a good way to collect some resources before this season ends. With these challenges you can get some Wimrow, Starlight Dices, scrolls, gold and some materials. But from all these resources that you can collect, the scrolls and the Wimrow are the most important because it's the ones that you can bring to the season 2. So with this video I want to show you guys where is the, all the locations to all the challenges over the world map. So let's have a look. I've marked all the challenges on my map so it's easy to find them. So let's have a look, I'm just gonna show you an overlook of all of them and then I'll show you the precise location for each one. Some of them I still have the rewards that you can get, others are already did so I don't have a picture with the resources you can get but all of them give you Wyrmrow, some of them they give scrolls, others they give starlight and others they give also uh, materials, it really depends. So this is an overlook of all the, the places, so each place that you can see a skull, like this one and this tree, it's a place where you can find challenges. So it, this one is inside the castle, I'll, give, I'll show you after. So there's some more four here, on this place, one more here, one more here, two more here, and this tree, it doesn't mean it's tree. For example, this one, there's one there, Ellie, Ellie's here, and there's two here inside this castle. And there's some more here, this three, four here, another here, four here, there's a lot of them. And in here as well, there's these two, these, 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 these are, are the hardest ones. This is the ones that have uh, like a highest level. And yeah, this is all the locations and now I'm going to show you the precise location for each one. So first one, this here, this one, Chief's office is inside the castle. You go inside here, Chief's office and is Trollgar. You can challenge him and get some sweet rewards. Next, on this side of the map. You can just teleport here to this place and you have the Captain Stark here that you can challenge and get some sweet rewards. It, these ones are easy because they are low level. Then inside here there's 8 challenges on this castle uh, inside Arbutia. So one, we have the this one, the Duchess Catherine. Then we have Sylvain the Guard as well. Then in the Roost we have the Crimson. Crimson Crow, level 30, easy one to do. We also have Zoar, level 95. So this is four. They are inside the residence. There's no one. Inside the tavern we have the tavern owner, level 65. We have this Nosemonger Cliff that you can challenge as well, level 25. And that's it. So 6, the last two are inside the market. So we have the Fair the Blacksmith, level 35. And we have the Carpentier here, level 35. Okay, so 8 guys, 8 challenges here that you can come here, fight with all of them and collect those rewards. Then we have another guy there, we have this guy, the Gravekeeper, he's a level 55. And then a little bit up here, we have Stout Shelter, he's a level 80. And on this part, that's all. Next, we have... We can travel to here and we have two challenges inside this castle here. So one is inside the village hall, it's the emerald that you can challenge and get some rewards and then we go to the prayer center and there's another one here, Elfie, level 10, easy one to get rewards. 
Next, we leave this castle and we have some more around here. So we can travel to this spot here and we have Ulwar just here that we can challenge and get some sweet rewards and inside this castle we have four more so four inside Cedarlin so one is inside the guard room so it's the guard level 80 and then inside the village hall there's two more so we have Chatalea level 155 and we have Ina level 85 lastly in the same place in the prayer center we have silkas as well level 95 all of these ones they are easy you can do them for sure next we're gonna leave this place and we can go here on the top to farm those three there so in here we have this guy here fiat the guard which is level 55 then we have three inside the sunrise camp so it's two inside the tavern it's the vidimir that you can challenge level 95 and we have as well tia here it's a level 95 as well and if we go outside and we go to wolf camp we have one more it's vikana and it's a level 160 then we can leave this spot there's one one more nearby you just need to walk around here turn here and we have George the farm owner that we can challenge level 90 all right then we can leave this spot we can go down here fast travel to this spot and if we walk down here to the Putkari room we fa can find another here it's Frubart and we can challenge Frubart and do this level 100 these challenges they are really nice because they are really challenges I mean if they are low level they are really easy to do but if you try these challenges earlier they were like much harder and was like really a, a big challenge because some of them they are really tricky then we can go to this spot here we have five challenges down here then we can go down here there's another spot here we need to travel to this place and then we just need to walk down here and we have the equitain guard that we can challenge level 65 and then we keep walking down here and we can find some more here there's one guy on side and two inside the castle so inside a year Aquitaine you can find two guys inside the tavern so it will be this one Vaternus you can challenge him level 35 and then Kesta as well we can challenge level 130 and we have as well Irina Irina level 40 so guys these challenges are really worth it because you can just come here and do it like pretty quick and you get some weird bro sometimes some scrolls we have Ellie here as well sometimes scrolls other times you can get starlight dices so it's really worth it especially because you can get some of these rewards some of these resources to the next season okay so now next spot will be here we can travel to this spot and we hold walk to this side and we can find is that guy here it's bartel bartel it's the another guy that we can challenge level 70. next we can travel again to this spot we go down here we just need to walk down here and we have one inside the tavern so we go here and we should find one guy inside the tavern we can find Jillian she's level 210 she's a bit harder than the other ones but you still can do this easily if you have 100 level characters next spot we go 
here, we fast travel to this spot and we can find some more here. So we have Usha outside level 95 and inside here we have three. There's three guys inside this castle. So one we can find inside the Eared Flame Castle. It's a Cilia. It's a level 245. Then, if we go to the bar barracks, we can find the Imperial Commander, level 95, and also Eju. We can also fight against Eju, which is level 80. And that's it from here. This spot is cleared, so after that we can go... Oh, this is a star, but was supposed to be a skull. So we can clear this down here. So if we fast travel here, we have one guy, oh we have this by rich guard, level 65 that we can fight, and inside this castle we can find two, two more challenges. So one is inside the Crimson Iris Fort, is the Commander Rand, level 175, and then if we go outside, and we go to the tavern. We can find a drug card, drone card here, level 65. Then we can leave, and I think there's one more nearby. Yes, we have the farmain the dwarf, which is level 140. Next, we can do another travel, and we need to go to the black dock there. We need to go inside the black dock. And here we can find Ovina and challenge 170. Next, we can go to another spot. We can fast travel to this spot here, walk to this side, and we can find another one. It should be inside the Warriors. Yeah, two challenges inside here. So one challenge we can find inside the tavern, it's Lydia. Lydia is a 140 hero. And then we can find another challenge inside the residence. It's Vani. Vani, it's a level 70. Next, we can fast travel to this spot here. And we can find two inside that castle there. Inside Eulestine. So one is inside the residence, it's Nida, level 70, then we can find another one inside the altar, it's Enrich. I can't click on him now, but I have a picture to show you the rewards you can get, and he's a level 250 that you can find. Next, that's all from this castle. Next, this one is a little bit far away from the, the, the points to travel. So in here we have this Warlike Orc that we can challenge, level 70, and there's one inside the tent. Inside this tent there should be its Finra that you can challenge, 145. Then we need to do a little walk down there, and down here we can find two inside the Wolf Keep. So in here, the main fort, we can find Kamari, it's one of the guys you can challenge, he is 175. And then we can leave here, go to the training ground and fight Garrika, which is a level 240. Next, we have this guy here inside the soldier tent, so we need to travel back to that spot. So we go here, Cory School, we go inside the soldier tent, and we can find Martina, which is a 175 hero that we can challenge. Then I think this area is done. Yeah, all of these are done. Have a, la a last look. This one is supposed to be a skull. So, have a, a last look, let's have a, a last one here as well, and let's go here. Now, 
these ones we can start from this spot so we need to walk to here and inside the laboratory we can find Jorn which is a level 230 that you can challenge these ones on this area are much harder some of them are really hard at the point that I was not able to complete all the challenges in here if you go to the assembly hall you can fight Dalbam is a level 190 next spot we need to walk we can tra fast travel here and we can fight yeah we can find these two here these two years that we can fight and one of them is 130 the other one Kamir is 130 as well these ones are not at art then we need to fast travel there and we can find some more challenges in here so we can find two inside this castle so one challenge it's inside the shift chamber it's Nisa that we can challenge 240 this one is really hard and then we can go to the residence and fight the loudmouth grog which is a 170 and as you can see this one gives an apprentice scroll which is really good all of them they also give infinity so this is completed you can find two here so next spot next spot we can go there so here we just need to walk up here and inside this castle we can find two more so we can find two inside the terminus so inside the tavern you can find the tavern horn owner and challenge him he, she is a 170 hero next next you can go to the prison and find the second one which is Edry. Edry, it's a level 100 challenge that you can fight then you can leave this castle and walk up here inside the cave you can find Seir which is a level 240 and this one is also really hard I've not done it and it gives two starlight dices next we can fast travel this spot here and we just need to walk down here to this place and we can find two inside this castle so one is inside the side room which is light tender I've not done this one as well really hard I must say and we should find another one here the Ouster which is a level 230 all right two more here these ones are really hard next we can fast travel there you just need to walk a little bit and inside the hidden residence we can find one more challenge which is Spalta she's a level 230 and she can give two more starlight dices next we can go almost all done so we just saved those two more and I think it, that's all cleared after that so in here we have this scanty town inside this scanty town there's one inside the residence you can find Blundier Dune which is a level 130 that you can challenge and give you nice rewards as well lastly we can leave this place and we just need to walk a little bit up, up there right so here Tiki Town we can find three challenges inside the Tiki Town so one challenge inside the residence we have Zephy it's a hard one as well 260 and and two more inside the shift chamber we have Shook level 190 and we have Rook level 260 all right so I think that's all I think I covered all the positions of every challenge just gonna show you guys again a last time 
So you have that guy in, up there inside the chief's office. You have this tree here. There's four inside this camp. There's the guard outside. There's this guy, the farmer, outside as well. Down here, we have this guy here, this one here, this one here, and eight challenges inside this castle. Then, we have two inside this castle. More. We have Ulwar outside, and then we have four inside this castle. Then, one here, one here, and two inside this castle. We have one more challenge inside the pot to carry. And then down here we have this guy Bartel. We have Usha outside and three inside this castle. We have more one inside the tavern. We have one inside the black dock. In here we have one outside and two inside the Chris the this Crimson Castle. And one more guy here outside. Here we have two inside this castle. What more two inside this one? More two inside this one. We have one outside and another one inside the tent, inside the castle. And in here, lastly, this street inside the Tiki town, one more in the Scotty town, two more um, around here. Two more inside this castle, one outside, no, one inside the lab and one inside the castle. And one here another here inside two inside this castle as well and lastly one inside the cave and two inside this castle so there's a lot of rewards you can get from here wyrmro especially wyrmro scrolls and satellite dices those are things that we can use now or just save them and keep them to the next season so these are resources important to collect and these challenges are also pretty fun and some of them are really challenging so i recommend you to try them collect those rewards and carry them for the next season i hope this video helped you guys i hope you can do all the challenges some of them are really hard but if you can do it, you're gonna get some free rewards that you can use on your heroes or just carry them to the next season. So if you like this video, press that like button, subscribe to my channel if you want to follow more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.